Yo, what is up guys? I'm Finn Yuja. Welcome to a brand new Ace Combat video. Kind of. Kind of an Ace Combat video. Uh, quick update. Uh, a lot of you have been asking about Vector Thrust Infinite. And if you don't know what that is, it's a it's an update on Vector Thrust. So it is this game right here. Basically, it's an overhaul of the game. And I'm redoing the weapons, plane balancing, uh, stabilization of the game. Lots of things like that. So that will be up very shortly because I've been getting a lot of questions about that. Keep you updated on that and another big project coming up that not quite informed on that yet. So I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, so try to make some decisions about it. Anyway, so the video today, we're gonna show you how to be able to play online on PPSSPP or Ace Combat, that kind of stuff. So the first thing you're gonna need, let me look it up. Oh, so I was thinking about going to the mall, my friends. Let me see. So it's Radman VPN. This is the first thing you're gonna need. So you're gonna need Radman VPN. It's free, it's not gonna harm your computer, none of that. So, I'm gonna get Radman, free download, and I already have it downloaded, so I'm just gonna come over here. Let's see where it is. It is in my downloads folder, if I remember correctly. It is. Let's see, it might show me this to update it one. That needs an update, yep. So, I'm just gonna search it because I already have it installed. And there we go. So, I'm gonna go to Radman VPN. Uh, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to Network. And then go to join existing network, and then the code is Ace Combat, so that's the name of the server. It's a gaming server, I believe, if I remember correctly. And then try the other one is uh, Ace Combat with the space, uh, the A and the C are capital, and then the password is Ace Combat, one word, no capitals, it's all lowercase. And then once you do, you can turn on your VPN, and then since you're already in there. It shows you all the people that are actually in this uh, network right here. So, I wanted to play with somebody. Right, let's say my, uh, my buddy Megalith, right? So, all I would do is I copy. He would. I would either copy his IP address. He would copy mine. It's not your actual IP, so don't have to worry about that. So, I'm gonna open up the emulator real quick. So, just let's say I'm hosting, right? So, I will go into. Let's for example, Gran Turismo. It is the work at Ace Combat also. Press F11, a full screen, game settings, more settings, networking. Okay, so over here, I'm uh, gonna have the WLAN that has to be enabled. The MAC address, just click like two or three times, just change it up. The WLAN channel, keep that auto, keep this on, uh, keep the 80 Hawk on. Like, if you don't have the 80 Hawk on, it's not gonna work. And the IP address, so either. I can put in mine and then that'll be right there or I can put in Megalus for example put his in right there and then you know we can both join in the same game it depends on who's hosting the game like who's gonna be hosted a lobby or whatever so if I'm doing it put mine in there and then Megalus is gonna put mine in there and whoever else you're playing with they're gonna put mine in there so I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more make sure you uh, PSP compatibility or your port offset is zero. Make sure this isn't checked. Make sure that's zero. Uh, if I remember correctly, you don't need anything else except if you want to change your username in a game, you go down to system, change this nickname, and I can change it to whatever I want to. So, you know, I can go back and then I can go to, you know, I forgot. I got the uh, Grand Tuesday music playing in the background because the game comes out in two days. So, I'm just going to mute it just for now. There we go. Press F11 to go full screen again. I'm remote connected. It's still loading in, but so what? What it's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to connect to the multiplayer AD Hawk, and like I said, it works in Ace Combat, works in any PSP game. Uh, I'm not sure how it works on mobile devices. I haven't tried it on there yet, but if I go to multiplayer, I can just go to AD Hawk Race, which is multiplayer mode, never initialize, and then. It's connecting and just like that I'm in it works um, I haven't tried it with anything else I might try it on my PC over here later on but not gonna focus on that right now and I know you guys kind of want to see Ace Combat so let me show you work on Ace Combat real quick just gonna stop the emulation uh, let's go to Ace Combat Joint Assault so I'm just gonna Speed up the game a little bit. There we go. 
All right, and make sure that the sound is off temporarily while I'm recording the video. You know, the soundtrack's amazing in this game. I really like it. Join Assault's very, very underrated. Okay, so campaign. And gonna wait for it to load. Okay, so just make sure when playing Join Assault, don't. Oh, excuse me. Don't press triangle. You're gonna press square for 80 Hawk mode. You press triangle, the game's gonna freeze, not gonna work. Network initialize. Now I'm gonna create a room, whatever. Then I'm just hit this, and the whole campaign's co-op, so you can do co-op if you want to, which I actually do recommend it. It's a lot more fun like that, to be honest. And go to mission start, just like that. I'm in the lobby. So I'll I'll post up a little video also so you guys can see. Um, you know, maybe actually now let me not do that. I'd rather just upload this video straight. But yeah, so that's how you do it. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I can help you guys out. Uh, again, Back to Thrust Infinite is coming very, very soon. Uh, I'll try and get a trailer out for it. And I'll also try and keep you guys updated on the other future project that I have not yet to mention yet. So, a couple of big things coming up. And hopefully, you know, those go pretty well in my favor. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So, see you guys next time.